Hi all, it's Dave here from RackNerd, and in this video, we're going to go over how to boot your RackNerd VPS into rescue mode. Well, what is rescue mode used for? For example, you may have a corrupt kernel or a recent incomplete operating system update that is causing your server not to boot for whatever reason or for some reason of similar nature. Booting to rescue mode will allow you to access your server's partition from a live CD environment so you can obtain your data. So without further ado, let's get into it. So here I am in my Solus VM control panel and I'm going to boot into rescue mode. To do this, I'm going to go down and click on rescue. And then I'm going to click enable rescue mode. The server is going to reboot into rescue mode, so we'll go yes. And we'll need to wait some time for it to reboot. As you can see here, we have the uh, IP address of the server and the special password that the Rescue um, Live CD has created for us. Open up the terminal window here, and we're going to ssh root 192.3.229.12. I'm going to go yes, and then we're going to take that and copy that and paste that in there. Okay, now we're in rescue mode. By typing in lsblk, we can see a list of our hard drives here. And uh, what we want to do is create a mount point. So we're going to go make directory first. And our mount point will be uh, test. And then now once we've done that, uh, we need to mount that to, the, to VDA1. So we're going to go mount dev vda1 and we're going to mount it to the test directory now we should be able to go cd test and we can see all of our server files from here you can install tools such as scp or rsync if you wish to transfer any particular files out or do whatever else you wanted to do within the rescue mode once you are done, you can go back into the Solus VM panel to disable rescue mode. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.